find that in the top. I have enough ABS plastic to supply the world. Saving the box. Thank you, Amazon, for your donation. All right, so we have ABS plastic. Essentially, what I'm gonna do with this is I am going to make kind of delete for the grill area. Um, I will be leaving some holes for cooling, but as you can see, well, actually, as you can't see, let me see if I can change that. But as you can see, only some areas are being cool. Like, see how there's pockets over here? So this area open doesn't hit the radiator, so it's not really cooling anything anyway. So I'm blocking off this entire thing, and I'm probably going to put speed holes, either two of them here, or maybe like in between each like square and kind of so it's blowing air straight at the radiator and kind of like funneling it in because right now yes it's open and yes it is cooling the radiator but i want to figure out a way to funnel the air and kind of make like a grill delete so air just isn't hitting stuff and it's slowing me down because of aerodynamics also i'd like to eventually make I don't know if I'll make it out of ABS plastic. I don't know how strong it is. Maybe out of like aluminum, like a little um, kind of skid plate for this front area right here. So air can kind of travel underneath and not like in it. And then kind of just like, so it can like stay, you know what I'm saying? Underneath the car. Good. Quick maths. Cardboard seat. I'm assuming I'll use the wrinkle side, but that baby right there is actually really close to being perfect. But I think what I'll do is kind of where I want to put it there. But you know what I might do? Maybe I will make a stencil. Hmm. Maybe I'll make a stencil with cardboard of the shape I'm going for, and then I will finalize and like piece together pieces of ABS plastic to make it like one good solid piece. So let me get cardboard and scissors and tape. All right, I've decided to change up my approach. This is kind of what I got going on here, but I'm going to redesign that really quick. I'm gonna take this little piece right here and get it perfect to where I want on each corner. Um, I'll like kind of perfect one side and then all I have to do is pretty much replicate it by inverting it and seeing know how it will work and then obviously I can measure the middle piece to however length I need but I want to get this cor these corners these to these rounded edges as best as I possibly can so it's pretty damn close 
kind of exactly how I want it. Now, many of you are probably like, why didn't you just use a protractor or something like that to, uh, to, to make this shape? Well, I wanted to, and it's, po it's definitely a possibility and I could do it. And does it affect the performance at all? Probably not, uh, to, uh, at least to a noticeable effect, but I wanted to get this as close to the body line as possible. As you can see, the hump is offset, um, whereas protractors are pretty even uh, around, if that makes any sense. So I would like to get it somewhat close to matching the body line. And that's what I came up with. So there you go. Bam, not bad at all, right? Awesome, moving on. And I kind of outlined the shape on this one. Cut it out really quick. And voila, now you have this side that matches there, and now I add this to the other side, and we're good. All right, so I'm sure there could have been a way simpler way of doing this. Um, yeah, but I chose to do the most complicated way. Now that I have it pieced together, I'm gonna put it out on one more piece of cardboard to kind of smooth out the lines and finalize it, um, just to give it one clean cut instead of a bunch of pieces taped together. So I'm gonna go get a piece of cardboard that actually is long enough and um, cut it out in one big shape. Alrighty, let's see. Now, doesn't that look so much better? All right, so the reason why there's tape on this is because I just used it to smooth out the edges. Um, so I don't have all rough cut edges. I don't have the best pair of scissors slash cutters or whatever the hell you want to call it. So that's what I did. And uh, very rudimentary, but it works. So now I bring these stencils uh, to my work tomorrow to get my grinding wheel and all my tools. And then I will make this into a ABS plastic panel. And then we will be golden. And I'm going to take this car. So taking that with me tomorrow. I actually forgot to do something really quick. So let's measure. So from midpoint to here, we got nine inches. And then we got about seven and a half inches in between each pole. So we have nine inches from that part of the corner. So about nine inches and then that's nine to there, and then it's about seven and a half, seven and three quarters. So now I know where these are in relation to that. So now I can put speed holes in them in the correct areas that I would like. So if that's nine inches from there to there, from this corner to here, just about nine. And then from here to here is about seven and a half uh, to edge to edge. So you can't really see that. Let me show you again. So there to there is about seven and a half. Good, good, good.
All right, I'm having such a hard time lining this up. I'm gonna put my music on and forget that I'm recording because um, I don't wanna have 20 minutes of me trying to line this up as footage. So I'm just gonna put some music on and kind of zone out and figure out how to mount this thing by myself, making it even. So yeah. Alrighty, that's it everyone. There it is. There's the design, if I can move the camera. But yep, there it is. So that's all I got for today. Uh, hope everyone enjoyed the episode. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next time. I'm gonna see if I can come up with some more ideas. So yeah, peace.